Today's lesson deals with the nervous system. A lot of times when we talk about the nervous system, we're going to be referring to our nerve cells, which in this case we can also refer to them as neurons. So a nerve cell has really a big job. It sends information throughout the entire body. Sometimes it may send information from the brain through the spinal cord to parts of the body. It might be in different directions. However, when we think of information, that information, remember, is transmitted as an impulse, which is an electrical charge, and it's a balance of electrons. So the way that we're sending information through our body, through our nerve cells, is, is an electrical signal, almost like sending a signal through a phone line or in some cases a computer or through your light bulb. Mm -hmm. In our body, we're gonna send our signals through our nerve cells as electrical signals. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause the video for a minute in order to be able to label the nerve cell that's shown here. So a nerve cell has several different parts to it and it can be drawn in any direction. But on this end here, we have little kind of almost looks like fingers at the end which are called dendrites. And on the ends of the dendrites are specially shaped things called receptors. They're gonna receive signals from a previous neuron. Inside that part right here is called the cell body. This main section here, it kind of looks like a cell. And inside of that particular cell body, we have a nucleus, just like we would in a normal cell. It just so happens to have all of these dendrites on the end with its receptors. Our signal would then travel through an axon, which is this center portion of the nerve cell. Some of our nerve cells are going to have special little fatty coverings called myelin, and that myelin helps the signal to travel a little bit faster. At the other end, we have things called axon terminals, which are then going to release signals to transmit to the next neuron. So if you need to pause to finish labeling, go ahead and do that. <coughs> So in terms of a nerve impulse, what we mean by a nerve impulse is it means that we're sending that electrical message. Remember, it is an electrical message that we're sending. So if this is our nerve cell and we have our dendrites at the end with the cell body going down through the axon to the opposite end, we have information coming in and then on this end, information going out. So we have another nerve cell right next to it. We'll show you later how that information gets communicated from one cell to the next. But when you see this cell body with the dendrites, we know that it's gonna be taking the information in, sending it down the axon to our opposite end where the information is going to come out. Remember again, that information is being sent as an electrical charge, which is a balance of electrons. It can only travel in this one direction. It can't go the opposite direction down that nerve cell. In terms of our signals getting traveled from one neuron to the next, there's a space in between those nerve cells called a synapse. So that synapse, we like to remember the S in synapse, it refers to the space between one nerve cell and the adjacent nerve cell right next to it that it's sending the signal to. Um, in our nerve cells, we could have nerve cells in our spinal cord. It could be the end of it could be sending a signal to a muscle or a gland. So that adjacent cell doesn't always have to be a nerve cell, but it's going to be a cell adjacent to it that it has to send a signal to. So the way that our cells are going to transmit messages through our neurons for our body is we have an impulse that's going to travel to the end of the axon. There's something called a neurotransmitter, which is a chemical message, a chemical signal, kind of like the hormones in our body that send signals. And that neurotransmitter gets released into the synapse. So we have the end of this axon terminal from the first neuron, and we have these little, little, tiny, little vesicles that contain our neurotransmitters inside of them. They're going to get released through that membrane into the synapse. The neurotransmitters are then going to attach to the receptors on the adjacent cell on the end of the dendrites. Now you notice that these are kind of cup shaped. That's because the neurotransmitters have a specific shape to bind or attach to those receptors. So it's all based on shape. One neurotransmitter is going to be specific based on its shape for the next cell. That's gonna go into a lot more detail later on for all of us, especially when we start talking about um, enzymes and receptors in a little bit more detail. 
and that would help us to send the message. Once it can bind to that receptor on the next cell, it's going to send the signal through that particular cell. When it gets to the axon terminal again, it's going to release the neurotransmitters and it may attach to a muscle and then that signal then goes through the muscle cell in order to maybe tell that muscle cell to contract. This one I'd like you to pause and try. In this case, I want you to try to label the diagram with the terms that are listed below and I want you to try to draw arrows in order to indicate which way the impulse is going to travel and where it's going to go. So in this case we have an axon that's already labeled for you. We have some structures here and then we have this particular neuron on this side which is the receiving nerve cell. So we have our sending nerve cell where the information is coming in going out to another receiving nerve cell. So I'd like you to pause and try and attempt to uh, label this diagram here. All right, great, so let's see how you did. So we have our axon here partially labeled for you. On this particular cell is our cell body. Inside there, we don't have it labeled for the terms, but we do have the nucleus. We have these structures right here, which are called our receptors. Notice that they have a specific shape and notice that these green structures inside this particular section are our neurotransmitters. Our neurotransmitters have a boxy shape and in this case our receptors also have a boxy shape so that means that they can actually bind and attach to it kind of like you would put pieces of a puzzle together if the shape doesn't fit they don't go together and the puzzle won't get built same thing with this one okay so we have our neurotransmitters here we have our axon terminals which are going to have the neurotransmitters inside which are going to get released into this space right here which is not in your list but I'd like you to include it it's the synapse these structures that have the receptors at the end are our dendrites so if you look at the overall picture our sending nerve cell is going to have the impulse going down the axon it's going to go into the axon terminals where it's going to stimulate the neurotransmitters to get released from their little vesicles, go through and into the synapse. They're going to travel through the synapse and they're going to attach to receptors with the same shape that they have. The receptors are on the end of the dendrites, so it's going to continue now an electrical signal through this particular neuron down through the cell body and through the axon again until it gets to another axon terminal to the neurotransmitters and so on until the signal finishes getting sent.